We're cleaning, man. And it's really cool. Um, he's going through some certain things. And he says, um, a lot of cards and stuff here. This is the upper drawer. He said, put stuff in the upper drawer. Um, this one went up in the top drawer. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one went up in the top drawer, right here. Okay? It's kind of interesting, man. It's really cool. This one went up in the top drawer. And then he had a message for the people um, that say that. It says, you know, it said, you better, this is the bottom drawer. It says, you better mean it. He doesn't believe you. But, uh, um, and my big fat Greek wedding. There's some Pokemon cards up here because they're special to Patrick and stuff. I like NCAA basketball. NCAA, yes, get your shit together. FIVA is doing a very decent job. This was in my pile of papers on top of the fridge that most of them had to go in the bottom drawer because of all the people that were trying to betray me. But uh, this one got saved and pulled out. Why? Well, it was part of the Sierra Vista Medical Center, and there were good people there. And this is somebody really cute. That's Kate. <laughs> uh, this one, these people that were on there that were doing my this and stuff like that, those of you that were innocent and this, this, uh, what happened here, um, um, you were innocent because you were manipulated by evil people. You've been redeemed because of your children. And the one that redeemed you the most uh, is right here. Okay? That's what he wanted to get across to you. That uh, you, uh, you have somebody to thank for your position. Because there was the upper room up here of things we're going through. And he says, put stuff in the top drawer and put stuff in the bottom. And I'm like, you serious? And he's like, yeah. And go through your wallet and clean it out and see what goes in the top or the upper. I just closed the top. It might not be just stuff that goes in the top. It's just a damn wallet. What went in the bottom? Thomas Reid Reibach, Director of Human Services. Interesting. Um, I was saving this for Emily. But it wasn't a true marriage. But give it to her anyway. But it belongs in the bottom drawer because it wasn't real. There were a lot of people there that didn't do a lot of good things. But that doesn't mean everyone's condemned, just the people that try to betray you. Um, when you say you're ready, you should be ready. And he said, found this on the road on the way home. And he said that the words are beautiful, but the deeds have to line up, line up with the road. road words. Common kindness reigns so close. When you're in love, if that's a fool's back, if you'll let this fool back in between a rock and a hard place, she holds the key. Uh, you and me in the moon, somebody's got to take a fall Monday all week long. That's interesting. I kind of like Mondays, I guess. I don't know. I'll find out. Uh, there's detective comic books in here. The Beatles CDs that were made for Natalie. Um, interesting. Walmart receipts. What else did he tell me to put in there? He told me to put this in there, and he said, don't be this anymore. Um, it's not contingent on all people on it. And we do like Chris Paul a lot. But just, I guess it's his association that wasn't being very good. Along with this association. He said, people tied to propaganda and this association also should watch out for themselves. And people that believe only in science and not in religion, that they're like this. That's so cool. <laughs> God, he's cool. Um, he said, when you don't make things connect to you, the next thing and stuff like that, you're you're wasting money and wasting resources, and that's a bad idea. And you're not a real good. These are the only Pokemon cards we put down here. Um, I don't understand this. Butterflies are not made to be iron. They're meant to be soft, beautiful, and fly. And he said that... Uh, I love you, but don't try to force yourself on a man. Um, uh, your analysis is off, and Spielberg's got some better ideas. <laughs> what else does he say? Oh, you use people to set people up and use people against people, and it's not cool. Okay? Love is not plastic. It's a good state, but there's a lot of people there that are going to be in big trouble. <laughs> What's that? Oh, this is... Uh, yeah, he had this in here, too. No, back off, see. I'm just doing, man. He said, here's why he doesn't trust you. Because you're always asking for that. You should ask for help. He said, these people won't hire you. 
if you speak lies, so you should not trust the people that run their company. That's messed up. But don't take any offense. These people taught me some nice people work there, but they're also not nice people, and the people that run the company are not very nice. You shouldn't betray a child that trusts you. That's not cool. He said that, um, y también. <laughs> may you live and learn, and may you live long and prosper, but may you also uh, pray and go in your closet and get on your knees. What else does he have to say? Oh, this is all the court papers and all the stuff from all the betrayal I had on top that I thought was so important. He said, just put it away. It's not as important as you think it is. And the calendar, daytime is nowhere on the calendar. Um, I'll save that for last. What's that? He said, you should really think about your values. You rethink yourself. You've been assigned, chipped, and assimilated. I don't know who this is, but he said, put it in here. He said, he loves you and adores you, but you should better choose your friends. For you're being deceived, and your wisdom isn't as deep as you think it is, if you consider some of those people your friends. Um... They like, they worship this. And, oh, yeah, this one was almost one of the ones of the most important. Make sure you take it out of your wallet and put it in your bottom drawer. These people uh, were not very nice to you, and they don't deserve much praise. There were people in the schools, but it was a rarity that were supporting you. And people in this state really did you wrong, and they should rethink their values, but they're right in the middle of the corridor. And you will do everything to keep them safe, and they did very little to keep you safe. They don't mean what they say and say what they mean. Don't betray them. What saved you from your own betrayal was the picture on the fridge. Okay, that's cool. This one right here. Don't lie with dogs. It makes you smell like one. Okay? We're not idols. All right? We're here to stop idol worship. Okay? So if you want to be as uh, well thought of as the other judge, you're going to have to act more like her. That's what he said. He said if you were... Well, let's go ahead and let's go through my wallet real quick first. He says go through the wallet real quick first. We're cleaning and we're doing a good job. Okay? He said this is changing and it's getting better. So we're not going to put this in there because there's too much elevation. Brock it off. But we're not doing Knock it off. Back off. Back off. Back off. But we, we do not condemn all the people for the deeds of the buyers and the sellers and the promoters. Do you understand me? So they go here. They'll go in the top drawer. What's this? Voters registration card. Because the people behaved uh, in, in much... Uh, they tried to pull malice, and they pulled it right, and there was a lot of people that pulled it right, even though they pulled a lot of things in the, in the uh, elections wrong. There was more good than there was bad, so this goes in the top drawer. The people, yeah, human services and, and department, you're in the top drawer already. I didn't see you already. Let's see, what else did you say? Cochise County Health Department. There's two Mormon.org's cards. First goes in, bottom, the top, second goes in there. This one, he says, hold on to it and give them a chance. Okay. Education is intelligence. He said, this one right here, yeah, bottom. He represents the Board of Regents. My children's Social Security cards will stay in my wallet. They're important to me. And uh, let's go to the next one. This one should be obvious. This one, you mean what you say or do you say what you mean, but you're trying your best, so you're going to remain in there the same. All right? So you got to go in the top drawer. We do things more publicly, and we do it with more strength. Um, we don't do things with uh, deception and not show up. You have to come up and tell somebody the truth right to his face if you want to deliver it the way you're supposed to. Three times you were told, and three times you did not eat. You can't keep 
the Department of Public Safety safe. You have to mean what you say. Do you understand? There's three cards. You get one more chance, but three strikes and you're out. Watch who you work for and don't trust everybody, okay? You've got to understand that. You can't let your fear rule you or your panic and you'll go in the pool. Don't worry about it. I got two cards. One's in the top, one's in the bottom. You get a choice. God, he's good. <laughs> Man, he's intense. It's not me, it's Jesus. No, really? Seriously. Yeah. This card right here, it says, yeah, here it is. Dear Lord, guy gave this to me. Make me aware of my opportunities about me to serve Christ and my fellow man. If any man serve me, him my um, him will my father honor. John 12:26. That's cool, man. That's really cool stuff. Um, uh, working families for New Mexico. You're in the top drawer. Uh, you're in the top drawer, man. I'm giving you guys a chance, but you're gonna have to work twice as hard to not panic and be faithful and cruel. Cruel. I cool. Not cruel. Cool. Okay? Remember this. I'm going to keep my voter's registration and my uh, mormon.org in my wallet. Well, because um, I need to value, I need people of value and I need them in my wallet. I need to keep them around. So my New Mexico connections, my Thomas Brannigan library, I'm keeping you in there. So they're giving you a chance. <laughs> That's really cool. You know why? You have some really special people that work there that actually do believe and don't believe that this guy's crazy. They sit down and they like him. A couple of the ladies that work there, and uh, it's the ladies that work there. So if you feel like you've been saved through their faith, I would go up and I would uh, appreciate them for their strong beauty and their strong faith. I, I think it's just always wise. I think the wise man admits when he's wrong. He gets humble, and he goes up and he thanks the people that help him. We're making some real significant progress, guys, here. Um, i got to leave here in about 20, 10 minutes and stuff. I'm not completely clean, but we have cleaned out the closet, and we have cleaned off the dresser and stuff like that. We're going to make a time capsule with the kids' stuff, and we're going to put that away. Um, we've done that, too. We're, we've made significant progress here. I'm going to finish up here. We'll finish up. Yeah, we'll finish this up this later tonight. We'll film this tomorrow. We'll post it on Monday. Um, doesn't look like you guys. I didn't get it done in time. And uh, it's a group collective connective, and so it doesn't look like come Monday I'm going to be all right but I'm all right with that um, it's all based on that group um, but we're we, we made really significant progress we've really I mean uh, Snoop helps you get up and get going things going I know you guys think I'm crazy but I'm not and the man's really inspiring and he's really cool and I really dig him he's a good dog and I like him a lot and uh so we got a lot done here dog I'm serious we really did man you really kicked my ass up into it and I got it moving it was hard emotionally I almost didn't get it right at first I almost didn't get through. Well, because so much was coming at me in an emotional sense. See, he got the dishes. I wasn't lying. See, we got the dishes done. Dishes are done, man. We just got to clean them again when we get back home tonight. We'll have some spaghetti. I got to finish off that garlic bread, y'all. But, uh, yeah, we'll get a lot of this stuff clean. And uh, we're got, we'll are we have it done by tomorrow morning, though. That's cool. So Monday morning. It's still gonna stink in here. I gotta spread. I gotta get some clean and stuff. I I, I don't have any. Uh. Well, he peed on that blanket because the kid's smell was on it. One of the kids was Natalie was using a lot, and he really gets attached to Natalie. Yeah, he's chewing on her panties. <laughs> he likes her. First thing he did when he got in the house was he kept trying to hump Natalie. It was hilarious. <laughs> but he, yeah, she slept with that blanket. A lot of times Kate did too. And he loves Kate even though he hurts. He just tries to set her straight on where she's at in the alpha pecking order. But he protects her and he loves her. He loves them. But he loves those two uh, girls in particular that was strong. He, he does. He just loves the kids. Period. You know. But he peed on that blanket because it smelled like Natalie. So. <laughs> It's Zeke. He's just marking his territory. That's his Natalie. Well, we know he how he acts, but hey, how's it going, buddy? Here he is. He's in the dog. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Are you serious? Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to make a video here. Hey, you're going to steal the show, huh? You all that. You are bad. You in the dog pound. This is it. We, we. Who's the best dog in the world? Who's the best dog in the world? Me or you? <laughs> Obviously, it's you, right? <laughs> I love you. Scratch belly. Do I have to scratch your belly? How long do I have to scratch your belly? 
until you say I'm done. Well, when do you say you're I'm done? Well, come on, Zeke. You don't hear him talking to me? I'm a t he's a talking to me. Your dog, what's your dog telling me? He's telling me, take over the world. <laughs> no, he's not. He's just saying, love me. That's what he's saying right here. Love me. I'll keep you safe. You keep me safe. I protect you. I trust you. I love you, too. You're the best dog in the world. Who's the best dog in the world? Who's the, I's your best dog in the world? You're the best dog. Dogs are like that, man, especially when you got a good dog. All right, dog, I'm done. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Knock it off. You, no. I'm not going to scratch your belly more. Not right now. I got shit to do. Uh, uh, no, don't you Zeke Parsons okay and a little bit more god man you are pushy has anyone ever told you you're pushy yeah I mean how long do we have to scratch a belly here as long as you have a belly I always have a place to scratch well I'm aware of that and no you try to scratch me and I cuss at you I know because the shit hurts <laughs> It's way different. Now, why do you think I like you scratching my belly instead of you scratching? Yeah, you try to scratch my belly. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm going to get up and get on going, all right? I got to get dressed and showered and get on up out of here, all right, doggy? I love you. I love you, Zeke. Good dog. He's a good dog. You went out, dude? Sylvester wants out. Hey, don't. You're going to. You jump up right here. You hit me right in the nuggets, and I'll be mad at you. Go ahead. Dude, it's cats, man. When you got to go out, you got to make sure everything's cool and safe so they don't always move with the most immaculate, spectacular rate of speed, y'all. All right, dude. I love you, too. We're getting it cleaned up. It's good. It's, uh, we threw out a lot of things. What was different, I was attached to things because it was my... I was losing faith, man, and I was losing it because uh, every day went by and every day went by, and I still am just... That's all I got is faith. Um, cause I told you, everybody just gives me like a, just enough to get by to the next day. There's no real, tan it's tangible, but it's, it's almost like not. This was just a complete act of faith. <laughs> yeah. I believe that these people will come someday and help me. When? I don't know. How soon is soon? I have soon. Tell me soon. One more time. I'm going to fucking hurt every last one of you. And when I see you, just took me. Ralph, what? <laughs> Go stuff yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. It took, well, we had to wait for the numbers to get just right. I understand. It wasn't really a numbers thing. It's more of a consciousness thing. It's not really a Christ consciousness. We're all Christ. We just all have to believe it. <laughs> yeah. I believe. Do you believe that you're worthy of life? Well, I'm alive. Then you should believe you're Christ. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. I'm worthy of the life you into, but my life is miserable. We make it worse than it has to be. But I'm ugly. How are you ugly? You're better looking than me. I'm not that good looking. <laughs> Everybody, I'm not serious, man. Look at me. I'm now not the best looking guy on the planet. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, I can play basketball than you. I can dance better than you. I did not know that. In certain ways, I can sing better than you. Please, I, you need to. I know about the need to just let it. Go. I know about the whole crooning thing and just let it go. I all right. Shut up. Shut up. Every, one more person gives me a song. You, you know, you did that all wrong. I got it, brothers. There's nothing you can do or say. I thought about this for many a day, and my mind's made up to feel this way. And you can't change that, because you're the only one I love, and you can't change It's more like you're just talking. You can't sing. If you force it, it ain't pretty. And a crooner just got a crone. He can't sit there and go, you can't. You don't sing like him. Who do you sing like? You. Who's Ralph, Ralph sing? Like Ralph. What does Ralph sing like? All right. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. You can't change a dollar bill. I'm going to kick your ass right now. Shut up. Hey, don't make me. I'm not going to sing that song. We did it already, and I deleted it. Oh. I don't want it. It's no. It's, it's same title, different song, smaller version, shorter version, good song. She likes it too. You better like it, Demita Joe. It's a damn good song. Johnny Rodriguez, does. he does. Lefty Fazell, I'm pretty sure the man who wrote it. I'm not going to sing it. Shut up. Oh, God, you guys are embarrassing. They love just, it's just like torture Ralph class. You have faith that these people will torture you until I'm dead? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, we, we will. We will we'll be here to annoy you and make your life fun and annoying and, and all. Yeah, we will be here until you, your dying day. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Why? Well, Emily and Ralphie 101. <laughs> Oh, God, deliver me. I'm just kidding. Deliver me, seriously, from this hell. Or I'm trapped away from you all because I love you and I can't wait to meet and hang out with you. I tell you all to go stuff yourself. I'm not singing it. I'll sing it. Shit. i got to get showered. 
And I'll come with my beer tomorrow. Hey, I'll do it tonight. I ain't doing it today. I ain't got time for this shit. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to roll. And I'm going to get back home and finish cleaning this place up. All right? Because I'm tired. And I'm tired of it being a mess. I'm tired of feeling bad and sorry for myself because it hurts because I was trying to cling to anything for hope to, that I could to my kids because I miss my kids. And I was abused, sincerely. And I was really abused. It was a big abusive plan. And it was horrible. And... And then I see the components of it, and it all opens up to me as I'm cleaning, and I'm like, this was horrible. They were meanies. Yeah, yeah. But, no, I'll sing it. I've been throwing horseshoes over my left shoulder. I've spent most all my life searching for that four-leaf clover. Yet you run with me. Chasing my rainbows. Honey, I love you too. That's the way love goes. That's the way love goes, babe. That's the music God made for the whole wide world to sing. It never gets so, it only grows. Losing makes Ralphie grumpy. <laughs> you say, honey, don't worry. That was not funny. Yeah, it was. <laughs> honey, <laughs> I love you, too. That's the way love goes. I love you guys, man. Honey, uh, people, and honey, I miss you, all right? And I'm doing good, and I'd love to be with y'all if, if only I could. Maybe someday here, soon, I'll secure my release. But uh, I'll just keep, on to that day, I'll keep on dreaming, keep on hoping, keep my dreams alive. Have faith that my hopes and dreams and wishes will come true for me and you. And that's the way love goes. And love just keeps going on and on and on. Don't you stop believing in it. Do you this? Muy bien. All right. They can't be tied. <laughs> I love you guys, all right? I'm going to load this stuff up. I'm going to go kick, I'm going to, you know, PTA, I'm going to do a shit shower, a quick shit shower, save, scrub off my teeth real quick, throw me on some clothes, run down the library, load these up right quick for you and tell you how much I love you, all right? I hang in there. All right, the Joe Smith lessons are off the hook and they're very intelligent. I hope you understand them and can practically apply them in your understanding of what's been happening to you in your life and your world and how things are going to get better. You just got to believe. All right? Don't stop believing. All right? I love you too, guys. Right. Blessings and peace. I love you. Always and forever. All right? Love you.